Erling Haaland is undoubtedly one of the deadliest strikers in the world right now, and there are so many reasons he has attained that status at such a young age of 22. Some of those reasons are his talent, determination, work ethic, and of course, his training routine and diet. The lad really went from being a bony-looking teenager, to a 6 foot 5 and 195 pound giant. But how did he do that? Two things, his training routine and diet. When he was a 17-year-old kid, he made a move to Molde, a Norwegian club being coached by former Manchester United manager, Ola Gunnar Solskjaer. And his teammates thought he was too small and too skinny to be a threat to anyone. One of his teammates at Molde, Ruben Gabrielsson, said when Haaland first joined the club, he actually wasn't so good. According to Ruben, he was skinny, small, and could not really do much on the pitch. Until something happened. The Norwegian teenager got injured and he had to be sidelined for a long time. And when he came back he was so big. Gabrielsson said Haaland came back as a different animal. He started killing everybody in training and all his teammates just kept asking, who is this guy? From then, Haaland just kept getting bigger, stronger, and faster. But let's back up a little. What really happened during that period he was injured? What did Haaland do to become so big? What was his secret? Well, who better to hear it from than his former physical trainer, Arais Steenslid. Arais was responsible for Haaland's physical training and development back when he was still a youngster in Norway, and he also testified that the former Dortmund man was skinny when he first met him. So, they basically had to build his muscles from the very beginning. And he was such a beast that he gained 12 kilos of muscle in just 15 months. What was he doing? Basically 300 push-ups and 1000 sit-ups every day, he would run on the treadmill for about 30 minutes at about 8 to 10 kilometers per hour, after which he would then do 20 minutes on an air bike. When he's done with cardio, he will then head straight to some high-intensity workouts each focusing on different specific parts of his body. In addition to that, he was eating a lot. Steenslid said that he was always the closest one to the buffet and he would heap a mountain of food on his plate because he desperately wanted to become bigger. But when he moved to Austria and then Germany, things changed again. He had gotten a little bigger, but he wasn't yet where he wanted to be. So, he went and hired a new personal trainer named Lucas Krull. Lucas came highly recommended. He has worked with some of the biggest names in European football including Thiago Alcantara, William Troost Ekong, David Lewis, Miroslav Klose, Douglas Costa, to mention a few. So, Haaland knew he was in good hands. With Lucas, the Norwegian striker began to focus more on weight training. His core exercises went from just sit-ups to a combination of planking, med ball Russian twists, V-ups, and good old crunches. Then he started doing more explosive leg exercises like deep barbell explosive hack squats, Bulgarian split squats, vertical jumps to quick steps, stiff leg dumbbell deadlifts, seated calf raises, and then of course, leg presses, leg extensions, and lunges. With this, he was able to build his quads, calves, and glutes to become twice the size they were and have twice the power they had when he was in Norway. You can see it from the way he takes shots on the pitch. One of his former coaches said this about Haaland's shot power. I designed a circuit for him where at one of the stations, he had to hit a sack, and one day he split it in half. This was a guy who was small, skinny, and could not even threaten any defender on the pitch. Now, because of his years of intense strength training, it is nearly impossible for defenders to last season, he was dispossessed an average of 0.6 times per game. Just in case you don't know how impressive that number is, another lethal striker, Robert Lewandowski, who was also based in Germany last season, was dispossessed an average of 1.6 times per game last season. This just makes you appreciate how much hard work the lad has put in to develop himself. And guess what, while he was doing everything to get bigger and stronger, he made sure he didn't let that negatively affect his speed. So, while he was doing insane strength training, he was also doing intense sprint training. He will typically do about 15, 100 meter sprints on a flat surface, rest for a bit, do about 10 rounds of zigzag run on sand, rest again, and then do about 10 50 meter sprints up a hill. Between each routine, he'll typically rest for a maximum of 2 minutes. Then of course, in between all these intense work to build his body, he still makes sure to do the main thing, football drills and training. That would involve shot training, training for positional play and control, aerial training, mobility and coordination, and all other stuff he'd need to be a better striker. Now, we all know that it is not enough for players to do the most intense of training routines. They also have to eat right for them to be able to perform optimally. 
And of course, Haaland does eat right. I mean, this guy adopted Cristiano Ronaldo's meal plan. And you know what that means. So, typically, Haaland has eggs, avocado toast, and fresh juice for breakfast. Then for lunch, he'll have pasta with chicken, swordfish, sea bream, and sea bass. Or rice with salad and grilled chicken breast. For dinner, he'll have fish or pasta, with salad. All his meals are cooked without oil or salt and always with fresh veggies. Also, the Man City man never eats frozen foods, it always has to be fresh. In between meals, Haaland likes to have snacks. But of course, when it comes to this lad, snacks definitely do not mean junk food. He typically avoids sugary snacks, so he'll just have fruits or a protein smoothie. You may be looking at Haaland's diet as boring and all that, but this is what you do if you want to be at the top of your game for an extended time. Working out without eating right will not give you the exact type of results you need as a top player. But anyway, every once in a while, Haaland has cheat days when he can eat anything he wants. He once talked about how his favorite food is kebab pizza even though he only gets to eat it a handful of times in a year. He has a spot in his hometown called Yummy Time, and whenever he is able to make time in his busy schedule to head back to Brin, he makes sure he has a slice or two of his favorite kebab pizza. In summary, Haaland is a very focused and determined guy and he put in a lot of work to go from that to this. His father, who was a professional footballer himself had this to say about his son. I had to be determined to make it in the game. But Erling made all the sacrifices, leaving home at 16 to move to Molde, and he is a lot more professional than I was. What more is there to say? The lad deserves everything he has right now. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also, turn on the bell notification. Until next time, that's all from Hattrick for now.